Hello everyone, it's time to leap in with Captain Green. I'm Brenda, and today we'll be catching up with our colleagues whose jobs deal with an important part of NEA's COVID-19 operations and help to curb the spread of the virus. Let's get them in to tell us what they do. Good morning, Zul and Jin Hong. Hi, good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay, let's start this off by having you both describe your jobs in one word. So maybe Zul, you can start first. Mm, okay, sure. Um, I think for me, the word would be, um, I would say maybe dynamic. Uh, our job has immediate real-time impact. So uh, in a way, our small and humble contribution is important. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Okay, how about you, Jin Tong? I would say outdoors, uh, things like the deploying of the machines out on the field, ensuring the samples are collected promptly and like rectifying the site. So our time team actually spends a lot of time uh, outside of the office. Uh. Mm, okay, so outdoors, deploying samples in the field, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, now if you haven't already guessed, Azul and Jin Teng are from NEA's Wastewater Surveillance Program team and their work complements clinical testing in detecting COVID-19 transmission through sampling wastewater for traces of the virus. So as what Jin Teng say, they go to various sites all around Singapore to deploy auto samplers. They collect wastewater samples and then deliver these to labs for testing. So guys, your your work sounds very, you know, complex and demanding. Can you tell us a bit more about what's involved and what is a typical day like for you both? So the COVID infected individuals, including those with mild or no symptoms, actually could shed the virus via their stools or other types of human waste material like the respiratory discharge into the wastewater. Mm. So these samples are actually taken from places all over Singapore, including places such as the dormitories, the residential area student hostel. Mm. This is done through our auto sampler, which are programmed to draw the wastewater samples at a specific intervals into collection bottles. Then the samples are sent to the designated labs to uh, test for this COVID-19 virus fragments. We know that our operation did help to, to detect this uh, fast. Executing a deployment operation is a complex task, aside from it being physically demanding. So the mm. team handles like bulky equipment and tools and at times the team will like encounter challenging terrain and constraints uh, at the site. Some examples of these challenges like uh, maneuvering our bulky equipment and tools across a few blocks or up a flight of stairs. Yeah, so as time is a critical factor in our work. Uh, so we strive to work safely and efficiently with our resources, hence the importance of our pre-planning. I see, and I heard that you guys also have to don PPE, dragging your equipment up the stairs. So, do y'all sweat a lot? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the PPE is definitely not a, a comfortable attire, but I would say it's definitely necessary for our safety. Uh, people are usually curious. It's a common situation we face. Uh, the look of curiosity for members of the public. We just see uh, wastewater research. Uh, within the premises, they generally ask, uh, like, hey, what are you doing? COVID, is it? I think afterwards, uh, it was announced to the public that this program uh, is ongoing. Okay, and I think one thing our listeners are curious about is, you know, what is wastewater? You go around collecting all these samples. Um, is it hard to collect them or is it, you know, unpleasant to handle them? Handling wastewater is definitely might not be pleasant, but this is like part of parcel of a job. Lah. Of course, we ensure that the team is properly trained before like deploying them out to the field. Like Zoo mentioned, we ensure that we adorn the correct PPE, like the N95 mask, cover all gloves to ensure that like we protect ourselves as well. Okay, just curious, right? What were you know, Zul and Chin Tong, what were you guys doing before you were involved in wastewater testing? Because understand that this is quite a new capability, you know, that was developed. Yeah, so, um, I'm previously from a safety background and like hopefully I can contribute to make the work process uh, safer through my past experience, be it like the physical demanding work in the field or is it the biosafety part? And I would say that our team is pretty diverse, uh, coming from different backgrounds and each of them can contribute their different expertise to the team, to what we are doing. 
I see. Zul, how about you? So for me, uh, I was from, previously I was from the operation and project management background. Like before every deployment or operation, so much effort is needed in assessing uh, like a suitability and accessibility of the site identified. And mm-hmm. also while taking into consideration public safety and accurate surveillance coverage. In addition to that, we there's also a, a need to engage various stakeholders, like for example, uh, our town councils or building or estate managers for access prior to our deployment. I'm very impressed by how you guys can pivot from your previous capabilities and pick something up like wastewater testing in such a short notice, which contribute greatly to Singapore's public health. So thank you both Zul and Junteng for sharing what you do with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Brenda. Many of us have been shopping online and getting things delivered. What do you do with the mountain of cardboard boxes and bubble wrap? In the next episode, we'll be looking into the hows and whys of recycling right. So look out for that. Thank you everyone. This is Brenda signing off.